Oh. 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 Hell. Yeah. Why can't? I'm just calm down, calm down, calm down. It's just a game. No. <laughs> They're not counting that game. Like I don't give a single fuck what anyone thinks. That game was so bullshit. I don't give a single fuck. That game did not count. Plus 5,000 hours. One of the best shooters in this game. Top 10 general shooters EU. Top 50 skill checks world. Serious? These fucking twigs, man. Hate this fucking twig so much, you know? Bro! So I tried to learn Billy within 12 hours. Billy is a very fun killer to play and just going for curves and flicks and cross maps are extremely fun and you'll see that in this video. I just thought it'd be a fun idea to try and learn him within 12 hours. This video will be split into three parts. The first part is my first two games of ever trying to play Billy. Those first two games are a total of 30 minutes. The second part is the next three, four hours or something like that of me playing Billy. A little montage of just curves and just cool stuff that I hit while playing Billy during the next four hours. And the next eight-ish hours of Billy gameplay is me going for win streaks. So feel free to skip to any part of the timeline to see these. For the win streaks, we try different builds, different add-ons. We play more smart, so we just go for curves and flicks and try different things as Billy. The first two games, it just shows how bad I am and how bad I was at the very start. Although we do have some nice little flicks in there. And the second part is just a fun little montage of nice flicks and cross maps that I hit. As well as some fun games in there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this 12 hour journey. And if you do, then please subscribe and like. Alright, first game has fucking turn rate Billy. Let's see how well this goes. Come on, we're gonna get snipe. 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 Ah, oh, we actually someone's there, so we've got that. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh that would be crazy. Oh, that wasn't a hit, really? Ah. Uh. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, man. Oh, you, you don't, you don't. 
Yeah. Okay. Don't have a wasn't it here. There we go, there we go. Fucking with this. We got one. Here we go. Snowball. Ah, make him think we're leaving, and then hit the tree. Play some Minecraft. These fucking ties. Get rid of the collision. Oh, fucking juiced. Jeez. Hey. No. No. I just recently hit 1,000 subscribers, and to celebrate that, I'm uploading every single day for the next week. So make sure to subscribe and check out my channel every single day around 5 p.m. UK time, which is when I'll be uploading every day for the next seven days. And if you're not already subscribed, then subscribe. Thank you. Bye -bye. Okay. Rock Legends is crazy. Fuck, I got that. Okay, well, I'm getting them. Wow! <laughs> we go for the okay, we leave you slow there, and then we'll, we'll come all the way around, right? All the way around. Chris, that's how you get someone. Jeez. That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Oh, they actually run. Oh my god. No way, I missed. Play. <laughs> Bro, this is so fun. Ah. Uh. Hey. You said you're gonna unlock yourself? Alright, GG's. Oh, both of them. No way, buckle up, Oh my god. No way, buckle up is so overpowered! Okay. I'll go back to sniping. Okay, I gotta go there.
Nice. Bro, Billy is so fucking fun, bro. I, I, you know, I've always enjoyed playing Billy occasionally, but I'm so bad with him that I used to play, I hated it. But bro, this, this, these add-ons just make Billy so fucking fun. I don't think I could play Billy with all these add-ons, so I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I'm not breaking that pallet. Everything every blocking that fucking pallet. No way. Yeah, fuck you, yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> What's that on you? That was on that, Jen. Nice. Just get the fuck out of there easily. Yes, fuck you. <laughs> you gotta get it eventually. Oh. Oh. Oh, you gotta read, read them up, leave me alone. Yeah. 
You just didn't respond. Uh, I know. See how this just it's just the easiest thing ever when Team notifications, my own pulse shock in your life. Ah, that has got good. The game's easy. The game's so easy. Kill me <laughs> Oh I yes, I got them again. <laughs> got the exact same team. Oh, they're going to me. Oh, I got 
persona che se ne te. What's that jump zero for this lady? Oh my Oh, that fucking rock. Why is there two rocks there? That's good. Brother, how's that not hit? Oh, they all found What's up, brother? Ah, the D seed! <laughs> I'm playing the mod, little snake user. What? They told me to kill myself last game? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, actually. They deserve it. I forgot that, yeah, yeah, I forgot that. Uh, that is that. They do deserve it. They literally had that game so easy in bug. Game 2 was my first time on Hawkins as Billy. It was actually quite a close game, but thankfully we still won it. That's so close. There's no way you can pair that shit. Here we go. Alright, G. For Game 3, we had such a great start. We messed up and end up in an end game situation. I know this is very early on in the streak, but this is how this end game went. Brother, why am I so close to them but not? Bro, I'm about to DC. Oh, don't leave. Oh, don't. Why do I then? What? This game stressed me out. What?
brother. Oh, yeah, that's it. Why? Why can't? Oh my god, I need to calm down. I need to calm down, calm down, calm down. It's just a game. It's too late to begin, I believe. I have that shit if I get Pervin, but now I'm a stupid idea. Bro, oh, I didn't do that, did I though, you fucking knob? Why, why am I getting this like tight with the man and just missing completely? Why? Like, this is what I mean. And I can't even, like, fucking... I'm one known because the game's made by a bunch of fucking stupid... Oh, you guys going for the David. Because I've lost the game now. And here we go, another paddock. Because why the fuck not game? No, do you want to give them any, any more paddocks? you want to just spawn in one on the fucking map? So why the fuck not, innit? Out of the open store. Take a few go the door. I just bleed them out, yeah, like it. Okay. What? In fact, she's eating me to tell you that they are unbreakable. I don't just stop. I really believe this core doesn't breakable. Yep, I need one more unbreakable. If I can get this, Nancy, I win this. Easy, it's just looking me if I can't be an ass. Shell unbreakable. It's about so ass. Let's go for the fucking floor. Just gone for the other door. Now I can't even go for the other door. This map's ass. See they stay for save. So they can bait them into the map. It's fine. Oh my god, we actually fucking got a draw out last year? We actually got how the fuck did we get a draw out last? No fucking way.
Game 5 was my very first time on RPD, which I was worried about at first, but I realised it's actually very easy to keep a 3, even sometimes a 4 gen on this map as Billy. Game 6 was almost a really fast match, but Buckle Up literally saved the game. I'm so glad it's been nerfed now, to be honest. I loved Buckle Up as Survivor, but god, while I was playing Killer on Billy, Buckle Up was the worst fucking thing to go against. But I also end up making a fucking enemy out of these fucking twigs on Eerie. Serious? These fucking twigs, man. Bro, how am I hitting that shit? I don't get it. Game 7 was a fast game and we hit some nice flicks or curves. Game 9 was an easy game on the fast game, but I literally all I want to show from this game is this guy literally disappearing in front of my eyes. I mean, if you slow it down here, what? you can literally see them for, I think it's literally 30 frames. What? I said on like, my program. You can literally see them for half a second and you can only see their hair. Like, it generally looked like they just disappeared on my screen, but it's just, I don't know, this was just funny to me and I was so confused when it happened. And the game after that was on Larry's, and we did actually end up losing, but I, I don't have any of the footage for some reason. I don't know if I just forgot to record or, or what happened with it, but yeah, I just don't have the footage of that, so I'm really sorry about that. But just know, it was a very stressful game. I was getting very pissed off, as I have been throughout this whole streak, to be honest. And it was another buckle up game as well, so it was just made it even harder. It was a very, very stressful game, but I knew I needed to learn Larry's before anything, really. Game 1 was an RPD game, uh, it wasn't too difficult, but there were some nice curves on it. Game 2, we are back on Eerie, nothing much except, except the map offering and then them just TCing, which I thought was quite funny. <laughs> yes, it was someone to me to the map as well. Bro, DC on his own map, that's crazy. Game 3 was just some more curves. Okay, no, I don't. They just fucked. Ah. Game four, we are back in another tough end game situation. Stupid as fuck. I hate how long that is. Just save. Like, see how stupid that is? No? My doing one doesn't be that fucking stupid as fuck. Well. You're so cringe. Let's take the draw, best we can fucking take in that situation. They just got gens done so fucking fast, it was unbelievable. Game 6, more curves, but we end up getting another end game situation. Hello. 
we never can't fucking do anything. This guy is the. Stop crouch checking on being a little. Gets out of window. We managed to get a free chaos with though. And game eight. Now this game, I really fucking hated these twigs. These twigs were the most annoying thing and most stressful thing in the world. And honestly, this whole game was just one of the most annoying and stressful DVD games I've ever played. Like, I don't understand how people play Killer. It's just so stressful. What? You, you dodged it? Fucking hell. As you'll be able to tell from this video, I was just getting angry. Like, I could not deal with this game. Oh. Hey, double drive. I can get that. I hate this fucking twig so much, you know? Bro, wait, if I, if I, see, if I bump into one of those twigs, twi twigs one more time, I'm fucking DC. Bro, this twig, fuck off. I... Really? This guy's such a jammy little brat. No! Jeez, I'm losing. I can't be arsed. I don't want to play. I, I don't care about my fucking streak anymore. I really don't. I really don't care about streak anymore. I really don't give a fuck about streak anymore. And yeah, I ended up DCing because of it. But you gotta understand how fast these games were during the second streak. There were there were eight games during this second attempt, and this whole recorded footage is only an hour long. Usually, like eight games, like two, three hours. But like, yeah, it's it's that's what happened. You can tell that these games were really fast, and there was a lot of endgame situations, so you just know those gens were going really fast too. It was a very, like, just, these games were probably some of the most stressful games I've ever played. However, Streak Attempt 3 was a final chance, again, up to a streak of 25, as we only had... Now, I don't know if the game was doing this out of spice, but it not only threw me on Eerie once, but my second game was also on Eerie, which was just annoying. Bro, that's... Uh... Why is it giving me this map? Thankfully not three times in a row, but some nice curves in game three. Game 4, I absolutely hated Game 4 with a passion. These cold deaths were just pissing me off. My best job. Bro, I'm literally blocking that shit. I'm, how, how, how far away do you want me to be from the pallet? Like, genuinely? Like, how far? A serious fucking question. This person's teabanging like a fucking good, but.
Game 5 on the other hand, I actually ended up l loving, so I enjoyed this game. Game 6 was a normal but fun game. Game 7, I started to worry because we were back on Larry's for the second time after our first lost, and this is how it went. Yeah, if you don't fucking respond correctly, I'm gonna fucking slit your fucking throat off.
Game 8 was the game that made me realize how risky it can um, be to slug. Sure. Because not enough pressure while slugging can put you in an end game situation with basically zero hooks. Luckily, the Sable bled out, but they got gates open and had a hatch offering. What do I do, yeah? I had to play this last part of the game really carefully and safe. Well, I would have made it there if I didn't fucking bump like an idiot. Uh. Uh, am I in range of that? No. Thank God I managed to get a draw out of it. Game 9, of course, we have Bakaniri. Don't know how that actually hits a bonus. These twigs, I hate them. Um, these twigs are fucking annoying as shit. Game 10, we end up going against Aaron this game. Yeah. <laughs> 
And of course for game 11, we are back on this map in an end game situation too. Bro, these twigs, man. No way you finish that shit! Are you literally on the floor? How do you finish it generally you're dead? No, you idiot. That, yeah, you fucking cunt. So I wasn't able to play the game for an entire month because my internet was down for the whole month. But as soon as I got my internet back, we came right back to the streak. And of course the game not only threw me on Hawkins, and we had such a great start. But they had Unbreakables and it was also a Sabo team and this game was just so fucking stressful for me right. as you will very clearly see. Really this, like... Why? Oh, Unbreakable could be so cringe. I didn't do that shit. I need some honest. This is unplayable, sadly. I oh fuck off, I hate this game. I guess we're fine for that. Right, why did the game have to do that shit? I fucking freeze and just oh my god. I need no I can't. That's not the worst fucking pain reses, the fucking worst most annoying team. Like good. This, this team is so cringe. Holy shit. Why did I just throw like that? Holy shit, I'm so stupid. Maybe not, I don't know what this person's doing. 
Pade, 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 man. Come on, just fuck off, game. Probably got a fucking pad here, yeah. Game 13 would have been extremely fast if I somehow didn't end up losing this either. It was fine though, we still won, just dragged it on and it just further added to my stress. Played. I, I, I just don't know where the other went. Like Germany, I just got so lost. Yeah. Game 14, this game was pretty weird, not gonna lie. I thought I had a lot more pressure and didn't have to worry about much, but I think me spending about a minute trying to get a cool curve on this car almost cost me the game. Yes, that was fucking great. Bro. Got juice twice. Yeah, yeah, still no chance for me, sir. So. How did he get past me? It will work on my jam. Ah, oh, you jammy bastard. Yeah, we did. <laughs> nice. It's a good way to end it. For game 15, although I had someone tunneled out this game in the first 10 minutes of this game and all my chases ending fast, this game just didn't end well. And then we can snowball from there. Alright, let me just tunnel. Okay. I actually feel so bad. <laughs> I really do. I'm so sorry. Overdrive is just so strong. Oh, I said. Players are quite good. What? I'm so confused why they say that. I could have easily got that, but. He's such a jammy bastard.
I know they can roll out infinitely. No, they don't. How are they doing this? Oh, really well played, so I might lose this game. That's crazy. I'm not expecting that. No, you fucking knobhead. Why don't you panic? Okay. Game's over. I just have to get Nick or something off again. What? Why do I have to like, get the worst doors in existence as well? Honestly, I go for the door again. I can't play this guy. This guy's really too fucking lucky at the game. I saw the crows. Why am I going for flicks? Is I just playing the safe like a normal human being? Oh fuck, I'm taking the draw in this game. I got this game is just unwinnable. How the fuck? How did I only get a draw out of that game? What went wrong there? I had the fastest downs in the world. Holy shit, that game's pissed me right the fuck off. I don't know how. Game 17, this is a very important game. The two palace spawn there. Just remember this double palace spawn here, first of all. Walk all the way over there that fast. I almost ended this game fast, but they were able to recover sadly. And they just disappear, and I don't fucking on somehow. Like, what do you do to vanish in this game? You couldn't have run that fucking far. I'm so cold, bro. People are so lucky in this game. 
I would have got the last one on the basis of half a second later. Yep, see, it's all the two, the two hooks. I was at four gens, and as soon as I start hooking, I'm losing the fucking game. What a coincidence. Yep, great. Great collision. That is so dumb. A double pallet to Vaughn is... Oh my god, man. Then the double pallet came down in a situation that was Idiots. already really bad. I mean, too bad they get the luckiest objects in the game. One, the two, the, 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 many, the many few objects that I can't fucking curb. You know what I mean? I guess... Yeah. And I don't hit that shit either. Yeah, GG, this game's over. Well played. Yeah, that's one gen. I mean, we don't count this game anyways because of the double fucking palace spawn. But... See that far. Yeah, of course, guess it's not sure. Yeah. I'm so convinced I see the way I don't care anymore. Yeah, lucky bastard. Yep, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, nice collision. Go corner, yeah. I mean, I just slug. This guy is so lucky, man. Yep, nice to lose. Why does the why does the object just have to be there? It just has to be fucking right there, doesn't it? What am I hitting? Uh, uh, game, just fuck off with these stupid fucking things that you're doing. No, it, it doesn't count. We're not counting that game at all. I don't care what anyone says. That game was so unfair. We had them at the start, first of all. Second of all, the game gives them a double fucking pallet, which probably bought them... Uh, Let's take away 30 seconds from the time they dropped that pallet to the time it took me to down the next person. Let's let's take away 30 seconds just in case it would have took me an extra 30 seconds to down that person who dropped that pallet. So that's how much time they got extra to do fucking gens. Like, I don't give a single fuck what anyone thinks. That game was so bullshit. Not to fucking mention the lucky ass little fucking objects at every single place where I could have downed them. That one object that is just probably uncurvable. I wasn't even going to try it. Oh, well, probably did try. I can't even fucking remember. And then that second fucking object, just perfect fucking centimeters away from the exit gate to the point where I can't do shit about it. It's just like, and it gives them enough time to run all the way to fucking shack. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. It is so fucking stupid and actually brain dead that I'm not fucking counting that game at all. I can't fucking deal with it. It's pissed me off beyond fucking belief. I don't care. I don't give a single fuck. That game did not count. There was a fucking absolute game breaking fucking bug with the ball so i don't give a fuck let's get the same fucking people again this time let's hope we get an actual good fucking actual that isn't shitty fucking ball going spawn of fucking double pallets game 18 so we didn't count last game but we got a rematch they did team hag me but this game was frankly was better but as you will see i was just not in a good mood throughout this match every match up to this point i had been stressful but This game is shit. Bro, he's got to be speed hacking. Look, I have run on the slow this game. Look on T bag. Shit on. Probably DS, right? 
Yeah, and you wouldn't let yourself die like that if you weren't gonna fucking up the size of strike. Yeah, because that has collision. I don't see bagging that. I'm just gonna leave it to actually bleed us on the ground, mate. I don't think I've asked. I don't even know where the, the one is. Did I get all the way over there? So uh, um, I don't understand killer. Yeah, apparently, like I was fucking the survivor. Apparently, apparently I'm just so bad at the fucking game. That's how. As soon as I have an easy kill, the game fucking freezes on purpose. Thankfully, game 19 happened and these people <laughs> cheered me up, so I gave them hash and then took a break. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? That's... No, 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 no. Come here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You do not deserve. Come. Come. Get in this locker now, bitch. You do not deserve that shit. You. Get in that locker. No, you fuck off. You. Get in this fucking locker. Please float. Exploit. Rats. No, no, no. You. Oh, bro, what just happened? He smiled for the camera. What a... But now I only had one hour and 30 minutes left to finish nine games. <laughs> Alright, well, Wiggins probably the fucking greatest team in the fucking universe, so, you know, I think it ends here, to be honest with you guys. Fucking 7,400 hours, plus 5,000 hours, one of the best shooters in this game, top 10 general shooters EU, top 50 skill checks world, and this person, 9,000 hours in the game. So, yeah, rather, this is gonna be game 20, or this is gonna be game 0, so. So, game 23 was a big one, as it would be the 20 streak game. But this game was also against players with over 10k hours on the game. You are also top 10 gen rushes in the game. I kind of read, I read it out just, I read it out just before you heard it all. This one was going to be a very tough game, so enjoy. Look at this, guys. Ah. Okay. Hi. So lucky. That's not lucky. Trade. Body block. Yeah, nice try. I think mean, there's another body block coming in now.
Okay. Sounds fine. Nice. Yeah, that's the unbreakable. Man, as long as she stays in this range, yeah, I, I think they all are unbreakable. Aren't they? Let them in. This guy's stuck in the corner, so might as well go for them. They got the window next, yeah. We just win this by build this thing. Nice. I just hope these because I, I don't know who has and who doesn't have unbreakable. Let's just. Uh... Is user unbreakable. This person cut off deliverance. And dropped, balanced. Yes. This guy's a pick. I think I got flash I'd say here. No bump. We have the S. Chase up, you lose your chase up. You fucking almost did because of whatever that was. It's two gems. That's. I bet it's fun this one. Here we do. Keep 
Ravens fuck them. Almost. Really do do gens fast, don't you? This team. Oh, that is good fucking game sense right there, boy. Keep forgetting they had that odd. Just the rowing every time I do that shit. Oh, that's a bit better. No panic bolts. Uh, we go main. See how they almost had main finished. That's such a really throw now. Oh, thank you, game. <laughs> I got the bug. Gives me time to pop them. I don't think they're doing that, Jennifer. I would have got thingy here, in fact. Good, good game. That's a fucking Jesus. That was a terrifying match. They played great though. Like I, I don't think I. I mean, I could have you know predicted the fucking dead odds, but I don't think I could have played any better apart from that. And I could have probably lost that game if I chased that guy enough. But well, if he didn't bug, I was probably gonna lose my guy. So after that That's tough good. game, game 24, we had a pretty good start to this game, but things See? just somehow went downhill, and they were just flying through gens. Next thing I knew, it was end game. Wow, oh, that's a lot of pressure, okay. Looks sick. Brother. Give up on one of these gems. Oh my- What the fuck?! Thank you for that. How do they do gems so fast? This is where I have to stop now. Yeah, of course. Let's go right up his ass. That's my bad.
I have a name called the store open. I have. No one over here though. Oh my god, no way. Please have no unbreakables. I, I feel like I play these games like quite well. Like I feel like my most of my chances are not ending that fucking, you know, badly. Fuck me man. This game is so hard when you play killer. Like I feel like I'm playing killer as as well as I possibly fucking can. And I'm having games like this. Like fucking hell. And finally game twenty five. This ended up being our last game and it ended quickly. Sadly, we only got a streak of 21. The reason it's 21, by the way, instead of 22 is because I've decided it wouldn't be fair to count the game earlier where the person got pilot bugged since I didn't count the game where I got pilot bugged too. So we're going to count this as a 21 streak. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was longer than it usually Dang is. God. Shit on hard. If you guys would like to see more videos like this or maybe another killer that you guys would like me to learn, then let me know in the comments below and I will try and learn them within 12 hours and do another video like this. So please like and subscribe.